Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making, finally, the 240 volt, 50 amp inline monitor. I've already cut the holes right here and just popped the monitors in. You see right here, already got them popped in. That's all you have to do. This box is a 6x6x4. Six by six by so if you want to make this easy, I'll put all the link of the boxes, the monitor, and you guys can make this, okay? So I did most of the work. I'm not going to make the video real long. Everything I've done, real easy to explain, to follow along. This monitor, the only difference is you see the wires are not cut. They're solid because I'm using this new monitors. These have the inductor. It actually opens and go around the wire. So no cutting. That way I have no power loss or clamps like this one right here you have to actually cut the wire to get the inductor inside of it so here I don't have to cut my wire the only cut I had to make was just a small line so I can get my ground and power from these two okay and this one right here I'll power one from one leg the other one from the other leg that's all just to get power to this thing right here the monitor you don't have to do anything else that takes away a huge step so you don't have to cut it crimp wires none of that six gauge wire 50 amp plug everything's connected so basically what I did was I took the box I drilled a hole on this side I drilled a hole on the other side I have my male 50 amp plug connected you can see how it's connected green black white and red and we come on the other side and the same thing, green, white, black, and red. So everything's connected. The only thing I'm going to show you guys is how to put the uh, inductor and the monitor. So you're going to need some wire that's going to power the monitor. So two wires, one goes ground positive, ground positive goes to here. come over here and you see the wiring diagram just follow that we're gonna pull some power from the red and the green so that should power our monitors so I pull one from one positive from the black one positive from the red and we'll ground them on the green all right all right so I'm gonna do that and I'll be right back guys okay so this is what we have here these are the line that's gonna be powering positive negative going to the monitor here's how I have them connected I just made a little slice and I tied it real tight now I'm gonna get some black tape and lay it on this side and I'm just gonna tape it like this real tight pull that real tight there you go so I'm going to tape all the other ones like this. I wish I could shrink wrap them. But I can't because I'm trying not to cut this wire because this is six gauge wire. It's going to be carrying a lot of power. I don't want to cut it. Okay. And this is the reason why I'm going with the, uh, this, this open clamp right here. That's the whole point because this thing will carry a lot of power. I don't want to use any kind of connectors. All right. Let me tie the other ones. Once I'm done, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I flipped it the opposite way so I can have it on this side so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to put this on the top. Okay, and we're going to connect this one and okay, that guys. One. So as you can see right here, this wire, that's my power wire from the, the line. It's connected red and so red positive, negative. And this one right here is going to the inductor on the two top, black on top, red. It does not show a, a way to go. If I have to switch it around, I will. Let's get this one connected and we should be done. All right, we got everything connected. Inductor to this one on the top. Then you have your power, inductor, and power. Let's go ahead and take that off, flip that around the side. Let's flip this right here around the side. And okay, so you just 
open the inductor and you'll slide it around just slide it around here and you will hear it clip that's one go cool. put the other one around the red so the black has one and the red those are your two hots and I'm putting them the exact same position There you go. Clip. That's it. Let it fall down this way. Okay, so once you get that in there, and then slide that this way. Put your top on. There you go. Not that hard, right? Now we have no cuts no crimps and put the screws on one two three four Kind of hard doing everything one-handed, but sorry if this got shaky. Bear with me. There you go. Next thing, just put your covers for your plugs. Let me go ahead and tighten these two, and then we'll give this thing a test. Okay, we got this one tightened. Let's go ahead and drop the screws for this one. All right, let's go ahead and tighten that down. Okay guys, we're all done. See, we just made a new 50 amp, so I no longer have to use an adapter on the 50 amp generators. So you have a 50 amp plug on this side, both leg, and your 50 amp female on this side. And the only thing we changed, we went from this monitor to this monitor. This monitor allows you to no cut wire. This one, you have to cut the wire in order to get the wire, the inductor around the wire. So big difference. Let's plug it in. Let me see what this thing looks like. I don't even know what it looks like. I haven't turned it on. So let's see if we like it better than the blue. This one looks like it has a little bit more blue to it. They said it's supposed to be brighter in sunlight. Let's check it out. Let me go connect it to the generator. It's Let's really good it that when no load is being used, your monitor shows zero. See, they're both showing zero. So what I did was I got my lights and I'm gonna turn them on. So let's turn one light on right here. It's coming off this leg. So it's pulling 463 watts, 3.8 amps. So we got two on. So this one's pulling 460. That one's pulling 473. Let's turn another one on. All right, there you go, all four. 935, 924. All right, it's working perfectly. There you go, works perfectly fine. There you go, back to zero. All right, guys, there you go. We just built a 50 amp, 240 volt with six gauge wire. So it should be able to handle all the way up to 12,500 watts. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Please hit the subscribe button. Follow the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.